yearning for earth legs. What's extraordinary about this uh, video performance in the book itself is the story is about me in a human body uh, encountering a goddess uh, from another dimension. And she adopts Earth and helps Earth. And uh, since the position was vacant, I've uh, given her the title Goddess Earth. And uh, yeah, the uh, interrelation between otherworldly beings and humans is not a new thing. Uh, I've just read uh, Karl Ruck's Survival of Pagan Fairy Themes in European uh, Literature. And there's uh, in the chapter, Wedding Fairies, uh, Fairies and uh, Goddesses and so on, Dakinis, uh, get it on, have sex with humans. And this is what happened in my case. Let me quote you from uh, the book a little bit. Uh, the knight became immediately uh, smitten with the fairy as soon as he sees her, and the fairy lady herself openly declares her love for the knight. Lanval, and going so far, they have carnal knowledge of one another. She gives her love, her body, her sex, and knight Lanval is <laughs> on his way. Uh, yeah. Sounds like goddess Earth, yeah, all right. Uh, the knight's encounter with the la uh, lady puts him into a fantasy realm, opens the portal for him on a, and a secret life so that he repeatedly makes love with this creature from another world and appears unaccountably blessed. <laughs> That's what my friends have been saying to me for the last 50 years since Goddess Earth and I have become celestial partners. Why are you so happy for no good reason? Well, I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm getting ecstatic, tantric, sexual energy from the inside, from another dimension. Yeah. Most people think, yeah... I'd never heard the word Dakini, which means a Tibetan uh, guide, female guide from another plane, uh, until 10 years after I had the experience. And uh, it wasn't a European fairy. It wasn't a Tibetan Dakini. It was just an interdimensional, you know, intergalactic creature. I would read all about it in There Are No Foreign People. The book is about her appearing in my life in a Tibetan monastery in the Himalayas when I was just 21 years old. What's that, Goddess? Uh, let them know specifically. And through all my whole five books and memoirs and video books, uh, I Goddess Earthy and I co-create these together. So uh, she wants me to be clear at the outset that the relationship with her is accurate as written. And uh, yeah, uh, check out There Are No Foreign People uh, for the profound spiritual adventure that sparked our 50-year interdimensional affair. The, the uh, writing about the Ganesh Cave is accurate factual on roads. Uh, the Ganesh cave exists as portrayed. And I welcome you to visit the cave. If you have the book, you can probably find it. The maps are, are that good. Uh, yeah, visit the cave. You know, um, a couple of my friends just made a pilgrimage to the cave and sent me great photographs. Take me with you. I'll be your personal guide. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cleopatra is the fictional name for my first true love in my life. And uh, if she's still alive, she'd be 83. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> Cleopatra is alive over in Melbourne, Australia. 
Mm -hmm. Sponge Island is Simi, S-Y-M-I, a small Dodecanese island. And I did make a pilgrimage to the monastery of Panarmites, which exists on a strong crystal masculine trip. <laughs> oh, the bits about the carpenter and the soldier boys, accurate as portrayed, truthful, and such. Also, Manolis, Makranatis, the uh, Greek taxi driver who's a star in the book. Uh, that's accurate. And uh, yeah. The chapter about the LSD trip with the two naked Dutch hippie tricks, <laughs> based on a real experience up there. All right. And uh, Manolis did rescue us, and my umbrella was just where I left it when I came back to the cave 30 years later. And finally, the chapter about my parents that uh, finishes the story is heartfelt and absolutely true. Uh, just a one. Is that okay? Give a, just a, a, a short summary. And, uh, okay. Uh, yearning for Earth Legs, uh, interdimensional love story between a celestial goddess and a human. Um, the goddess, composed of light particles, uh, possesses no physical substance. Uh, Therefore, she lusts for human friction. <laughs> Sex. She yearns for earth legs. And bumping into things. Yeah. Uh, and when I make a nostalgic pilgrimage back to my cave after 30 years away, uh, she feels safe enough to jump out and uh, actually take control of the narrative and my body. Finally, um... You know, with all the sexual breakthroughs, transgender, two spirits, uh, pronouns, uh, non-binary, this is also a new uh, avenue and an atmosphere. Don't be afraid to have relationships with beings from other dimensions, other planets, other worlds. They can be within your spirit or however it happens. It's rare, but I think... Uh, that's why I chat with Goddess Earth through all five video books, uh, just to get the reader used to the idea of what it's like to have an inner uh, active relationship with a, a lover from another world. So uh, enjoy yearning for Earth legs. She showed me all around her worlds and the light bodies, how to shape shift, transform into any form I wished make love as two spheres of light. And after so many years, I'm, I'm grateful and happy that I can show her the delights of the human body. You know, the angels have no touch, no friction. The human touch. How exquisite. 